Oh, okay. Well. Don't hit continue. <laughs> New game. The main game. Elisa has arrived to Chiloe to investigate the Salazar house. Will she be able to discover the truth? Or should it be shrouded in darkness? In May of 1986, the renowned author Jaime Salazar and his family vanished in Chiloé, Chile, without leaving any clues. Authorities quickly dismissed the case, and nobody could prove any crime or wrongdoing happened. Because of the political climate at the time, the locals thought the military dictatorship could be responsible for their disappearances, but no one knew for sure. In March 1992, a reporter named Elisa Munoz was sent to investigate the mansion where the family lived. I hope this is worth it. I have a bad feeling about this. Hope so, too. The road is too small for a car, but it's such a long walk. Anything for a scoop, I guess. Scoop of ice cream? I'd walk down a creepy road for a scoop of ice cream. Well, it depends on the ice cream. Mint chocolate chip. I would walk down a spooky road for some mint chocolate chip. Maybe some matcha ice cream. Probably not chocolate or vanilla. I don't know. What kind of ice cream would you walk down a creepy road for? Finally, I can see the place. There's a shack over there. Pistachio ice cream. Yeah. Do you guys have pistachio ice cream in the shack? Hello, anybody here? I hope I find someone. Yes, find them, ask them about the ice cream, Elisa. Date. Let me in! Let me in! It's closed tight, I need a tea. Looks empty from what I can see. Oh, there's some rope. Let me just steal some rope. They won't mind. Flashlight. That's handy. How could you forget your flash? How are we seen? That's a bright moon. Moons in this universe are bright. Journal. I'm sorry to whoever lives here, but I won't let any secrets go uncovered. It's a regular diary, but the last pages look really rushed. He was the gardener. After some events, he was forced to live here. It seems he saw something he shouldn't have seen and disappeared. I hope he's okay. I'm guessing probably not, Elisa. Let's take a nap. It's really dusty. It hasn't been used for a long time. Well, I guess that's it then. It's a well. I need a rope if I want to descend into the well. Well, just your luck. We have a rope. Rope. The rope is ready. Let me just walk up to the creepy old mansion, look around the gardener's house. 
and then just climb into the well, you know, for the scoop. Oh God, it smells really bad. I want to puke. Why was it puke have an exclamation point? Oh, I got a flashlight. Oh, hello. Yeah, I, uh... It looks like he's been here for some time. Rest in peace. I'm gonna say that's the gardener. It looks like he's not Oh, got the key. I should really think this through. This key should open the gate. This is the last page of the diary. As a simple gardener, I did my job as I was told. I lived my life taking care of the plants I love. Thanks for reading my last words. Take my advice and leave. Nothing good will come out of what's inside the house. But you really want to know the truth? But if you really want to know the truth, I took the key with me. It should be nearby. Goodbye. Rest in peace, sir. Anything else in here? Plate. Wait, so did he bring food down here with him? Right, whatever. Back out of the well. Did I get the rope back? Probably not. Okay. Okay. The key fits. I don't know if I should continue. Usually when your conscience is telling you don't break into the spooky house, you should probably listen. Or at least I would, Elisa. Who am I kidding? I wouldn't listen. I would have used the rope to climb over the fence. Hey, it's the title screen. If you're playing along at home, you know what to do. What is this? It reads, you who dared enter and make the same mistake I did. Come to the library and learn how to survive. The library is the first room on the left. Can I... What a weird painting. Painting. It's a weird family painting. Is it weird? It looks like a painting. Do you wish to save? Yes. Wardrobe to hide in. To the left. A mannequin. Just what I wanted to see. It seems to be moving. Okay. That was fun. It's been a while since I've been killed by a manatee. Let's let's try that again. Another 
another family painting. A family looking at the moon. It's a beautiful landscape. I think it's a couple. One is a little sad, but I think they are happy together. Dust or tears in the carpet? Pills. This should restore my health, but what are the side effects? Pills here! <laughs> What's in the chest? Uh oh. Cool, we can hide in a chest. I don't want to go in there, but I have to. <laughs> I don't want to go in there either. I don't have a good feeling about entering there. Well, let's do it. Oh my god. Is that an arm? <laughs> table with corpse. My favorite kind of table. <laughs> He's missing his face. It's Nicolas Cage. Or John Travolta. Or both. His face. Who could have done that? Let's get to the bottom of this. You Nicolas Cage or John Travolta? It reads, This house is cursed. Once inside, you can't leave. A ritual. Something dark is happening. Your only hope is reading the black book. If you disrupt the ritual, you could escape. I hid the book in this room. Please, end this tragedy. And that's how it ends. Me and my luck. Can I... Left or right? Left's been doing us all right all night. Let's do it over here. Book of Faith, The Fifth Shift, Paranoia, Paranoia Heaven, Spaghetti Tower. I really want to read Spaghetti Tower. Is this the black book? Yeah. September 1988, World of Terror. Hmm. We just played World of Horror. Crossover? Are all the games I play in the same universe? The Italian Staircase. Mamma Mia. Massacre with a Power Drill. That sounds like a movie, not a book. Perhaps the movie was based off the book. Freak from Sky. Gears of Metal. That's <laughs> The less acclaimed sequel to Gears of War. <laughs> yes, more heroes. I agree. Forgetful, the Dark Fall. Sword One. Einst Door. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good one. That's a good one. Like a Yakuza. Hearts of a Kingdom. I would have went with the Heartless Kingdom. No, that probably wouldn't have wouldn't have came across as well. The 101 Heroes. Your Soul. Rain. Hotline Texas. Now that would be fun. <laughs> the Binding of Isaac. Cool. That one, that's straight up. 
Let's read the black book. I didn't really hide it very well. This should be the black book that he mentioned. Can I read the other ones? I want to read Tower of Spaghetti. An Italian chef is trying to get spaghetti from a tower. Pretty sur Oh, there's descriptions? I really like this book. The priest really likes to point the cross at everything. <laughs> it's a good book. The museum is really scary. Has a lot of butterflies and uh, has a lot of butterflies. A scary read, though. Oh, we just. Everyone has their own interpretations about this book. I have mine too. Cultists, demons, the unknown, an interesting book with a nice cover. I think it might be the reference to World of Horror. That's cool. A manor with a lot of secrets, a nice Italian homage. Pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Massacre with the Power Drill. A classic. It's a really good slasher. Now, I always jump when I hear a power drill. This made me not want to ski ever. Strange. An espionage book. A really long book with tons of exposition. I like it. Oh, so it was a it was a Metal Gear reference, not a Gears of War reference. Yes, more heroes. A surreal hero book about heroes beating other heroes. The Forgetful series is a good horror one, but has a lot of memory problems. <laughs> Sword one. I really like this book. I'm waiting on the continuation. A classic futuristic time traveler book, World War III and dystopias await. A Japanese mafia book with a hero with a heart of gold, a must read. The eternal war between darkness and light with keys, a little confusing. Definitely is, Elisa, I, I agree with you there. A war between aliens and 101 heroes that protect the earth. Very fun read. You're going to die here. <laughs> I guess that one is directly talking to a... Uh... Yeah. Rain. In a long distant future, someone dies and a weird and weird world ending stuff happens. Oh, is it, it's near. It's near backwards. <laughs> cool. Hotline Texas. I had to read a lot of times. It's a pretty good action book. It's the story from the Bible, but darker. Fun. Hey, what? what ah! What the? F Oh, okay. I feel bad holding this. It holds knowledge about what I have to do. Ouch. I'm gonna read this black book. As you now have this book, you are hereby cursed. The... Answers you seek will be granted to you. We are now linked. The ritual is on course. To regain your freedom, the four sacrifices must be delivered. Their torment needs to end. The ritual is on standby, waiting for someone to complete it. Turn off four candles and escape. Or end it. For the wisest soul... Remove her last link to reality. Cut its light. For the kindest soul, make it remember its most beloved other. For the saddest soul, your company is valuable. Show his reality and its loved ones. For the angriest soul, 
A calm melody from the past may soothe its anger. To stop the ritual, the last candle must be extinguished. To end the ritual, the first four candles must be extinguished and reigniting in the dark. Reignited in the dark. Then the candle that's guarded on the last door should be turned off and reignited. Then I'm going to complete the ritual. It seems like stopping the ritual uh, takes a lot. You going to stab me again? Where did the body go? Hey, that's what I wondered, and then I got stabbed. What kind of books we got over here? You. You. Are never going to leave. leave. This place, you can't stop the ritual. If you were smarter, you would look behind you. Uh, I'm going to take some pills. Pills tasted bad. I feel better, but weird. Alright, Matt. Well, I know one candle's down here, but I don't know which soul that is. Always bring your lantern, my dad said. I was lucky to find this one. It is a bed. I remember sleeping in a bed like that. It was really uncomfortable. Safe. I need a key for this. As expected. Wheelchair. It's pretty old. It has some white hair and smells like old people. This should restore my health, but what are the side effects? Uh, at least I found some pills. It has some family pictures. Some of them are really old. It appears that this is the room of the grandma in the painting. One of these pictures show her hugging her grandsons. And we're gonna pop into view. Doors locked. Lovely. Oh God, rest in peace. It's moving. No, my mind has to be tricking me. Saved. <clears throat> yeah, let me save by the thing that will kill me. That's not creepy at all. For the wisest soul, the kindest soul, the saddest soul. Your company is valuable. Show his reality and its loved ones. Do I really have to own that? I feel like that hole is calling me. I'll uh, hang up on it, Elisa. <laughs> Shower. It's broken. Not sure if it works. I'm not interested if it does. 
toilet. I'm glad that I don't need to use it. A lot of old body cream and soap. Should I go through the hole? I think I see something. This is gonna be a jump scare. I can just... I have a bad feeling about this. You do? Get out of the hole. We're gonna have to go in the hole, aren't we? Can, I could see it. You could. <laughs> You're luring me into this. What if I keep going? Why am I doing this? It feels so warm, like being with my family. have to keep on. I feel happy. The hole is getting smaller and smaller. It's embracing me. It keeps going. Keeps me going. It feels I can't go back. I'm scared. Please somebody help me. I don't want to die, please. Oh no. I have to move forward. May 1986, renowned author Jaime Salazar and his family. Oh. Okay. okay. She was never seen or heard from again. <laughs> Hey, we got a uh, we got ending zero of eight. Okay, well, we've been going for almost an hour, so I think that's a good place to end it. We will get, uh, now that we know we have eight endings, we will we'll probably make an ending per video. And that will be the plan for now, unless I find a bunch of endings right away somehow. Um, but this was The Horror of Salazar House, Ending Zero. I crawled into a hole, I didn't get any ice cream, I got spooked by a ghost woman with a knife. I got stabbed by a ghost woman with a knife. And uh, I'm enjoying it quite a bit. So, until next time, stay spooky out there. Bye.